31 candidates contesting for five constituencies in Assam are all set to go into the by-elections on October 30. Before we dive into the politics of the bi-polls, let's first have a look at what necessitated this. Gosaigaon, Tamulpur, Thaura, Bhavanipur and Morioni are the five constituencies that are going to the bi-polls. Gosaigaon and Tamulpur constituencies fell vacant after the death of the sitting MLAs. The four-time elected representative of Gosaigao, Majendra Narzari of the BPF died due to post-COVID-19 complications in May. In the very same week, Liho Ram Boro, who won from Tamulpur on a UPPL ticket, also succumbed to COVID-19. However, the scenario was different in the other three constituencies. Within a few months of winning the assembly election, the four-time MLA from Morioni, Rubjati Kurmi, better known as the T tribe leader, resigned from the Congress as he felt sidelined in the party. He then went ahead to join the Bharatiya Janata Party. Following on civil lines, the two-time former Congress MLA from Thora, Sushanta Borgohai, too, tendered his resignation and switched sides to the BJP. Bhabanipur MLA and AIDF turncoat Thani Talukdar also sealed the deal with the Saffron Party in September. With its mission of 100 plus seats in the March April Assam Assembly elections, the BJP had won 60 seats. The party is now down to 59 after Sarbanan Sonwal resigned from his constituency, Majuli, to become a member of the Rajya Sabha. The Opposition Congress at present has 27 MLAs, AIDF 15, AGP 9, UPPL 5, BPF 3, CPM 1 and Rajor Dal 1. In the upcoming by-election, among the 31 candidates in the fray, 3 are from the ruling BJP, 5 from Indian National Congress, 1 from the Communist Party of India, 2 from the All India United Democratic Front, two from United People's Party Liberal, one from Borland People's Front, two from the Voters' Party International, one from National Roadmap Party of India, one from Assam Sangrami Manch, one from Ganasuraksha Party, and 12 are independent candidates. Contesting with turncoat candidates for three constituencies in the upcoming by-election on October 30, the ruling party could be scoring 62 seats in a 126-member assembly. The Opposition Congress, AIDF and BPF have broken their old alliance and the parties will now be running solo for the by -polls. Although it was speculated that the Congress and Rajodol would join hands and go for the polls on a seat-sharing basis, the latter felt betrayed after the Congress announced its candidate for the Thora constituency. Rukjoti Kurmi, Shushant Borgohai and Phani Talukdar will once again be contesting for the respective constituencies but this time for the Bharatiya Janata Party. A total of eight candidates are in the fray from Gosaigaon and Bhavanipur followed by six from Tamulpur, five in Thora and four in Morioni. From Gosaigaon constituency, Joel Tudu will be representing the Indian National Congress. Jiran Bosumotari will represent UPPL. Dhruva Kumar Brahmanarzari will represent the BPF, Kherul Anam Khandakar will represent the ARDF, and Uttam Kumar Talukdar, Kamal Roy, Usman Ghani SK, and Abdul Hasem Akand will contest as independent candidates. From Bhavanipur, Ponidhar Talukdar will represent the Bharatiya Janata Party, Sailendranath Das will contest on behalf of the Congress, Jubbar Ali, ARDF, Merijul Haq, Roadmap Party, Siben Das, Voters Party International, Shaukat Ali Ahmad, Khampa Kungur Ghoire and Ariful Islam will contest as independent candidates. Meanwhile, from Tamulpur constituency, the candidates in the fray are Bhaskar Dahal from the Congress, Bajendranath Deka from the Ganasuraksha Party, Jolen Doimari from UPPL, Rajkumar Baro from the Voters Party International and Ganesh Kasari and Yashwant Chauhan as independent candidates. In Morioni, the contest will be among Rupjoti Kurmi from the BJP, Luhit Kuor from the Congress, Gopal Chandra Ghatuar from the Ahom Sangrami Manch, 
and Sanjeev Gogoi, who is an independent candidate. Meanwhile, in Thora, five candidates Sushanta Borgohai from the BJP, Monoranjan Kaur from the Congress, Krishna Gogoi of the Communist Party of India, Thajjo Kaur, and Lohit Gwala as independent candidates will contest for the assembly seat. So, who do you think will win from these constituencies? We'll find the answer soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.